Hello and welcome. I am Nana and I'm so glad you've joined us today. We are going to have the best, best time. We are going to have chalk pastels at the movies and we are going to celebrate the movie Frozen and some of the main characters we're going to draw them and they're going to be on a great adventure because they've got another adventure coming out fairly soon and this is in celebration of that. Now there are several things that you need to know if you've never painted with me before as I said I am Nana. Now these are the supplies that you will need to paint the characters from Frozen. All right, let's get started. First of all, I have a wet paper towel or you can use uh, even a baby wipe. Oh, they just smell so good and they make your, they clean your hands off because chalk pastels, as you can see, on my fingers, I've been painting already, um, they stick to the, your hands. They don't stick. They, they are a powder form. So that's what these are. These are wonderful sticks of compressed color, paint color. And they're dried and then just mashed into a stick form and we can use it instead of painting with water or with oil. They're, they're old, old painting tools. They've been around for several hundred years. And we have plain construction paper. This is not anything special. Today I'm using a pink piece of paper because we're going to be painting sort of like the northern lights or a fire or they're looking out over a a really beautiful sort of sunrise it can be up to you that's what i do i leave a lot of this up to you to figure out and paint the way you want to paint it and that's another thing when we say we're going to paint this is what we're actually doing because this is paint. So we'll say a pastel painting. Let's go paint. And that's what we're doing. All right. We have our pink paper and these are the colors that you will need to paint with. This is a medium brown. If you don't have these exact colors, don't worry. Just get the the closest that you can get. This is a black. You can see I've used it a lot. And this is sort of an aqua color. And over here, these are called new pastels. They're skinny sticks and they're used for sketching. If you have these, great. If you don't, you may use these. Okay? And we have a black, a red, a brown, a dark blue, and a yellow. So, as you can see, my fingers are already have pastel on there. So I'm going to clean my fingers off because we're going to be using different colors. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start over here with the reindeer. And his name is Sven or spin, <laughs> which is hard for a southern lady to say sometimes. All right. Now, this is the top of his head, right here. And he has these wonderful antlers coming out this way, this way, and this way. All right, and then we have some antlers up this way, this way, this way, 
Maybe one like that. Okay, and he has ears. Like this. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, <coughs> know this, that you can stop the lesson and catch up and then come right back and pick it up where you left off. Okay? All right, now, we've got a back leg here. And another back leg. And a front leg. Now you don't... <coughs> Excuse me. You don't see the front leg because it's hidden behind that leg right there. There's his little reindeer uh, tail. And here is part of his bridle. And here's one too. And I think we're going to go ahead and give him some color like right away, okay? I'm going to get a darker brown. Now, if you haven't painted with me, you've heard me say, we don't need to fill in the entire color of Sven because you can smooth his color out with your fingers. So if you'll wait a moment, let me get some color on his legs and I will show you. Okay. Now take your finger and you see how you can fill in. He really is only mostly colored on the left hand side of his body because the sun or the light is coming from the right. Okay, see how easy that was? Now, he has his equipment on for, whoops, wrong color. I meant to pick up the red for a saddle. So there's part of it and here's part of it. Now, he's done. Let's move on to Kristoff. All right, now he is a little bit taller than the tallest part of the uh, antlers. Here's his hair. Now he's mostly in black because this, I think, is supposed to be night. Didn't make his shoulder big enough. And here's his arm. And he wears this sort of vest. And he is dressed as a knight. And he has on boots. Remember, you can stop the video and then come back and catch up. Don't get frustrated. Just do the best that you can. This is such fun. I'm thinking about all the story from uh, Frozen and what fun it was to watch. Okay, this is the black. Now, I'm going to take the black and put it straight down like this on the paper 
and then you can get full coverage if you just keep it here and fill it all in because like I said he is mainly in black I think he, this must have been his fighting outfit maybe his military one and he has black boots on too so here's your painter finger and you just smooth in the black there we go if you get outside the lines it's not a mistake it just gives it more like a painterly look okay now he has kind of light brown brownish type hair now this is too much black on that finger to to mix it in so I'm taking my wipe and I'm getting it off there so it won't mix in too much there that's just right now we're going to Anna and here she is over here and she's a little bit shorter than Kristoff <coughs> and here's her hair and the wind is blowing so she's got on a purple cloak that goes way this way and way down here the wind is blowing it like this and she has on black boots gonna get the purple and I'm going to find here it is here's the purple right here I'm gonna make that cloak just a little bit bigger all filled in let's smooth it out make Anna's cloak just very smooth okay I think she's leaning toward Elsa and they must be going to share a secret all right now she has this let's see I'm looking for a brick red and I think I'll use this. We use it down here on the back especially. And I'm going round and round and round in circles. And I'm going to stop right there. And you say, well, Nana, you didn't finish it up. No, the light's coming from this side and it's going to have some gold highlights how about that okay and here's the painter finger there we go now and you can fill in her boots okay now over here is Elsa now Elsa doesn't have such a calm personality as does Anna. Now you can have her as a ponytail or a braid down her back. I think I'm going to put a braid that way. 
and then here is her she gets angry quite easily and she I think she does it to defend people and but it looks like she's angry in this okay and she's got a little kind of floaty cape like this very gently and here all right now her dress is this wonderful aqua I think that's her favorite color it's almost like the sky or the ocean or her favorite the ice if you ever looked into uh, like an ice cube and sun shining on it and you can see some different colors maybe that's what she was thinking when when it became her favorite color okay now if you pick up some black it's okay you see I'm working around it. There's her dress. Now we have the aqua on our finger. There. And we're going to fill it in. Just draw it over. It might need just a little bit more, but don't color it heavy because if you remember from the first film, she it was just almost like transparent. Okay, now her hair was white, mostly white. picking up some green there. We don't want her to have green hair. So I'm going to put some yellow in there. Now, she did have some black boots too. Now, where are they? They are standing on an edge. Maybe there's like the, the top of the mountain, but they're looking out into the distance. Now we're going to take this color and give them some kind of rocky edge here to stand on. Just, you don't have to draw the whole thing, but if you want to, it's fine to do that too. You can even put some grass up underneath them, whatever you prefer. And off in the distance, I'm going to go with an, a yellow kind of orangey color. And be careful as you work around the characters. I wonder if it's a fire or maybe it's the sun coming up. 
you make up your own story. Or it could be a sunset. I don't know. You're the artist. You decide. I'm over here with Sven. Now, this is going to take some smoothing in with the finger. And if you do, it will all become nice and smooth and easier to look at because it's just not so hard looking. Now, I think we have some storm clouds. I don't like that. Changed my mind. I'm going to have just a little bit. Of storm clouds but we've got the pink background so that's fine too I'm going to go over it with some white maybe it's snow coming goodness gracious you could make a real story out of this I'm beginning to really like this. I wonder what they're looking at. Okay. Now, we have Sven, Kristoff, Anna, and Elsa. And they're all looking out there. Could it be a fire? It's your story. You decide. I think this has been great fun. And I'm so glad that you joined me today. I hope it's been fun. Please send me some photos of your completed work and tell me if you enjoyed it and if it was fun. And I hope that we'll get together and paint again soon. Because you know why? You are an artist. <laughs>